Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome back to my channel. I was planning to upload a line art tutorial but you all wanted a girl TV version so here it is. Fun fact, this video is uploaded on my birthday so the chibi is kind of a self portrait. But all the tips and tricks and the procedures applies to any female chibi you want to draw. It can be your idols, anime characters, original characters and many many more. Quickly, I want to thank you and everyone for me for so, so much love and wishes. It really means a lot to me. You made my day. I was so emotional and certainly felt that I am loved. So thank you again and now let's get into the video. We are back in our good old canvas starting off with a circle as usual. My chibis have very fluffy round cheeks so we're gonna start off by adding those. My chibi is going to be one third look so there is one cheeks visible and the other one is flat. Big ear is the key you all. Big ear is the key of making a chibi cuter. Now I've just connected the ear with another cheeks in a rounder shape to get a skull. Now draw a line across the center of your cheeks and to your ears. This is going to be your guidelines for drawing the eyes. Now I just adjusted the skull shape. Make sure it's round. Just a number 6 to her ears because easy right? Now I am adding her eyes. So for eyes there are a different lot of shapes and styles available that is totally up to you. But this is how I do it. I start off with that curvy rounder shape and joining it from the bottom as well. This is not a perfect circle more of an elliptical shape. And I am lazy so I just copy pasted it and moved it to another side. Make sure when you're doing one third look of a chibi, the other eye should be a little more squashed out because it's far away from the viewer. Another few points to draw a girl chibi is give her a really big fluffy eyelashes and always some cute and adorable expression. Basically all chibis have cute and adorable expressions but for the girl you want to make it more of a feminine. Now adding her some eyebrows that expresses her emotions better. Just a reminder that sketching is always a messy process so don't get too overwhelmed if it doesn't look up to the mark of your imagination. I'm adding the type of curtain bags that I have on my own hair because as mentioned it's going to be of a shelf portrait. Drawing hair is one of the most fun part to really any kind of drawing whether it's full on anime or chibi. If you don't like it you can just erase and redo it. So don't stress yourself too much about it and just have fun. It took me a while to decide what type of hairstyle I want to do on her. I usually wear a top bun most of the time but to make her cute I'm giving her some pigtails as the, I have a wavy hair so I'm going to give her the similar type of vibe. Now let's give her the glasses. I have round glasses so I'm giving her one as well. While drawing any persons into chibi you must Take care of the looks or the main features of that person like skin color, hair, if any accessories they're wearing or what type of eye color they have and the outfits so you can get closer to the person as possible. I gave her some outfit and a cake to hold on to and I will do the line art. I'm going to quickly skip the line art portion because it's going to be boring and the video is already pretty long and let's jump into the coloring. Okay so starting off with the skin color I'm giving more of a tan look on her of course because I'm not a white person and um, I have more of a tan color in my skin so this is what I'm going to do it. Now I'm choosing a little bit of darker shades to add the shadows where it's needed. 
in those fluffy round cheeks we have some blushes blushes are also one of the key points to make chibi cuter make sure you blend them well with the skin color so it doesn't look patchy and we're going to move on to the eyes on eyes i don't use like bland white color it's more of a paleish yellow if you look at the eyes of real humans you know they're not always the actual white it's more have like mild tone to it and i have brown eyes so i'm giving her the same you can paint the eyes however you want so i will have a detailed video on painting the eyes so you can skip that part as well once eyes are done i'm going to go ahead and paint the inside of her mouth i was struggling to find the right shade for her so i had to overlap a few times now i will do her hair my hair is usually very dark brown to jet black it's like the shade so we're going to try with this one and we'll see how it comes up hmm i don't like this shade at all so i just lightened it up a little bit i felt like it doesn't go well with the color palette i'm going to give her more of a beige color palette and this is the shade that goes actually well so we're going to compromise the hair color with that just for the sake of color palette and let's draw her outfit and the puff she is wearing on her ponytails adding checks to her outfit because why not it looks cute I haven't sped it out real fast because sometimes it can be hard to see what I'm actually doing. This is like maybe fourth time sped up, and uh, we're gonna work on with the hair. I already have a tutorial on how to do the hair, so if you want to check it out, I will leave the link in the description box below.
so this is it i really hope you guys find this video helpful and if and if it does give this a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave a comment down below and if you have any video requests you can add them in the comments box as well i always listen to you guys' request and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye